Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So we are about to watch a monkey play a video game telepathically. And I'm not joking. It's not April 1st. This is legitimate technology. We are about to watch a monkey using a Neuralink implant play Pong hands-free using only its mind. Let's get into the video. I'll add some thoughts and comments at the end. This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a Neuralink placed in each side of his brain about six weeks ago. If you look carefully, you can see that the fur on his head hasn't quite fully grown back yet. He's learnt to interact with a computer for a tasty banana smoothie delivered through a straw. We can interact with the Neuralinks simply by pairing them to an iPhone, just as you might pair your phone to a Bluetooth speaker. The links record from more than 2,000 electrodes implanted in the regions of Page's motor cortex that coordinate hand and arm movements. Neurons in this region modulate their activity with intended hand movement. For example, some might become more active when he moves his hand up and others when he moves it to the right. By recording from many neurons and feeding their activity into a decoder algorithm, we are able to predict Page's intended hand movements in real time. First, we calibrate the decoder by recording neural activity as Pager uses the joystick to move a cursor to targets presented on the screen. As he's playing this game, we are wirelessly streaming, in real time, the firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. Our goal is to enable a person with paralysis to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. Because they wouldn't be able to move a joystick, they would calibrate the decoder by imagining hand movements to targets. One of the things the Neuralinks allow Pager to do is to play his favourite video game, Pong. To control his paddle on the right side of the screen, Pager simply thinks about moving his hand up or down. We've removed the joystick altogether. Now that he's up to speed, let's increase the difficulty and see how well Pager can play with the Neuralink. As you can see, Pager is amazingly good at mind pong. He's focused, and he's playing entirely of his own volition. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. Great game, Pager. And what better reward for a monkey than a banana? We still have challenges spanning many fields of engineering, so if you're good at solving hard problems and want to change people's lives, even if you've never worked with the brain before, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely stunning. If ever there were a time to use the word mind blowing, it's now. I mean, holy crap, guys. Are you like, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of what you've just seen? This is just nutty. I mean, the singularity really is near. Of course, the nerds who've been following the progress of neuroscience, technology, and medicine over the last decade or so won't be super surprised to see this demonstration. I hate to burst your bubble. As stunning as this Neuralink demo was, it was actually close to a decade ago when we first saw a human being telepathically control a robotic arm. But what Neuralink have done is miniaturize, modernize, and greatly enhance this technology. The fact that it takes just a few minutes of training with this Neuralink implant with a monkey using a joystick before it can go hands-free and telepathically play Pong is bananas. I did just say that. Oh, what a mind-blowing bananas. Just, I'm just going to stop. Now, for those of you that don't have a whole lot of background on Neuralink, the company was founded half a decade ago by Elon Musk with one 
overarching goal. Allow human beings to merge with artificial intelligence rather than potentially becoming its bitch or something that's in its way. And I know this might sound a little bit nutty, but that is the actual end goal of Neuralink. We are going to be merging with artificial intelligence, forming some new kind of life that's half man, half machine. Shout out to Terminator. I'm not joking. That's the end goal. But there's many interim steps along the way that will help so many people who are suffering. The original post from Elon Musk, brilliantly titled, Monkey Plays Pong With His Mind. What else is there to say? Well, actually, quite a bit. A monkey is literally playing a video game telepathically using a brain chip. Now, I mean, <laughs> I just, this is real. Like, I'm actually reading a tweet of Elon Musk describing technology that he's actually developed in his company, Neuralink, that's actually working inside the brain of a monkey. And the awkward thing is, actually having watched the footage of the monkey playing Pong, I'm kind of ashamed and embarrassed to admit this, but I think that monkey would probably give me a pretty good run for my money on the Pong paddle with its telepathic interface and me just using my hands. That's awkward. Some more details from Elon here. The first Neuralink product will enable someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs. Now, let that one sink in. This is Elon fucking Musk. This is another moonshot. This isn't, hey, let's make something incrementally better. This is, hey, let's make something enormously better. Can you imagine being somebody who's suffering paralysis, who's able to get a Neuralink implant and not only use their phone, no, 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 but use it faster than somebody who doesn't have a Neuralink implant. This is going to be nutty. As Elon Musk has talked about many times in the past, the biggest constraint from human communication with our brains is really bandwidth. When we're trying to communicate, we have to compress what's in our mind, somehow compress that into a few words, convey that, or type super slowly with our thumbs on a smartphone. It's extremely low bandwidth, it's extremely convoluted, it's extremely unnecessary, and the Neuralink interface is going to make an enormous difference. Over the long term, this isn't just going to be for patients who are suffering from paralysis, etc. Neuralink will be available to anyone who wants to improve their cognition, enhance their speed of communication, etc. This isn't necessarily going to be happening tomorrow, but this is the path that Neuralink is on, and it's stunning to see the rate of progress. And some further stunning details here from Elon. Later versions of Neuralink will be able to shunt signals from Neuralinks in the brain to Neuralinks in body motor slash sensory neuron clusters, thus enabling, for example, paraplegics to walk again. So to translate the jargon here, effectively, subsequent versions of the Neuralink brain interface implanted in the brain will be able to send signals to other Neuralink implants in other parts of the body to literally control your motor movements. Regular viewers of the channel will probably have heard me say that I firmly believe that over the long term, Tesla will become the world's most valuable company bar none. But I actually believe over the super long term, that title is likely to go to Neuralink. I know it may be difficult to imagine, but cast your mind forward a few decades. Imagine Neuralink version 1, 2. Imagine all of the iterations. Map on your understanding of the exponential progress of technology. The ultimate end destination, I believe, is that Neuralink will completely kill the smartphone and become the new operating system, the new platform of choice for people around the world. Over the short and medium term, Neuralink will help end or reduce suffering for millions. Over the long term, I mean super long term, Neuralink has the potential to expand the scope and scale of conscious experience for billions. Now I know a few of you are watching this thinking this guy is so high, what is he even talking about? I understand where you're coming from, but I'm also firm in this belief. Over the long term, it is inevitable to me that our technology will continue to progress and humans will get closer and closer to our technology. I see a brain interface as the most obvious, likely and inevitable way this plays out. Of course, there will be some Luddites, some people that are scared. Oh my god, don't put a chip in my brain, oh my god! I get it. You can cry in the corner. You can stay without your Neuralink brain implant. You could remain a Luddite. That's fine. Those of us who wish to expand the scope and scale of our conscious experience, to dramatically increase the speed and clarity of our communication, to massively enhance our ability to communicate our thoughts, feelings, and emotions to other people, to enormously enhance our cognition, our intelligence, and our speed of thought, We'll be happy to integrate this technology at some point in the future. If you're a little bit concerned about this, you don't really think it feels right, that's fine. You're welcome to continue using your flip phone. I don't have a problem with that, but you are likely to be in the minority over the long term. The singularity really is near, and this matters. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you down for a Neuralink implant? Do you think you'll get one? Will you be one of the early adopters? Will you wait a few generations? Or will you be one of those Luddites who finally gives up after Neuralink version 25 comes out and you're the only person on planet Earth who currently doesn't have an implant? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.